Hello, and welcome to another episode of On Purpose, where I interview intriguing leaders about their purpose and its impact. And today I'm excited to welcome Tony Leatherberry. Welcome, Tony. Thank you for having me here. This is phenomenal. Tony has been 30 years as a leader at Deloitte and as a new member of the board of directors of Zoetis. And one of the things that I love most about you is how rooted you are in your own personal purpose. So let's start, let's go back in history a little bit to high school. Um, I know you were in a Catholic high school and there were not great opportunities for STEM. So tell me how a girl in high school with limited opportunities for STEM ended up being an advisor to some of the world's largest companies on technology strategy. I will go back to a particular day in 1977, <laughs> can you believe it? 1977, when I wanted to pursue a career in STEM, didn't know what STEM really was at the time, but I did love math and science. And the only science that we really had in my high school was chemistry and biology. And so my father said, well, we've got to fix this. So we went and we met with our nuns, actually had morning prayer with them, and he said, how are we gonna create an opportunity where she's not limited? And she needs physics, she needs computer science, she needs you know, exposure to all of her options. And they got really creative and innovative. So this is innovation in the making. You can always be innovative. It doesn't take a lot of resources. It just takes creativity, in my opinion. I know at one point, uh, you were told at Deloitte that I'm not sure she's really quite partnership material. And as we've seen throughout your entire life, you were never a quitter. What do you, t when you talk to um, young leaders coming up in their careers and you mentor them, you know, what do you, how do you give them advice on how to overcome that? You define yourself. You run your race. Um, no one can run it for you and no one should define you. And if something isn't working for you, you have to think about, well, what's going to make it successful? What's, what will work for me? So I start with that. In my personal case, um, so there was a role, um, the most senior non-equity um, partner in the firm is called a managing director. And so there was a role for me, an option to be a managing director, but I never let that define my success and what I wanted to accomplish. And lo and behold, some of my partners, including my CEO, said, why aren't you a partner? And I gave the explanation that other leaders didn't think I was partner material, and he said, that doesn't make sense to me. So they got together and they figured it out. I think bringing inclusion really helps drive a business, to your point. It's a business imperative and the ability to have people speak up. So talk to me a little bit about what that means to you and how you've advised companies on that. You always start with, what problem are we truly trying to solve? I think that's really important because sometimes we can get caught up in what the shiny object is at the time. Um, we can get caught up in what's politically correct. Um, and so what problem are we really trying to solve? And so when I'm working with our leaders, I, I ask them, again, I come back to community, I come back to the consumer, I come back to the employee base and I say to them, how are you including everyone? Are you representing everyone? In a case, an example might be if someone describes a consumer and they describe them as Mary in Columbus, Ohio, and she's a middle-aged white female, I will ask, well, what about Maria? What about Paul and his domestic partner who's an, also a male? What about um, someone else who is Asian or someone else who might be biracial? How are you thinking about them and looking at it through their set of lenses? So I always just ask that simple question. Well, you have led an incredible life of purpose that has had impact, I mean, certainly from your Deloitte days, even across industries. And we're so excited to have you now impacting Zoetis as well as one of our board members. So thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for listening today to this episode of On Purpose. I hope you join me next month for another episode with intriguing leaders on their purpose.